What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so it is part two of our little Gym Leader rematch episode. In the last one, we actually defeated the first four Gym Leaders of the Kanto region, you know, Brock through Erica. Now, we're going to be going straight through, you know, like, like who's next? What, Koga? Or Sabrina? Don't know who. It, it, it is what it is. You know what? Let's go to the closest place. Normally, well, I, I usually go to, uh, what was it? I usually go to, what was, uh, to Fuchsia City to actually battle, uh, Koga as the fifth gym leader. Mainly because, when I, when I was watching the anime, there it is. Look at this guy. Huh. I wonder. I'm just asking. Okay, so now we know where the CHS guy is at. So, like I was saying, uh, when I was watching the anime, I always took Koga as the fifth gym leader rather than the sixth one. Uh, but it turns out that maybe, just maybe, uh, uh, Sabrina may be the fifth gym leader. Uh, comment down below which one you guys think is the fifth gym leader right here. Now, as you can see, when we came here, yeah, it was a little bit of a, a trip to get to Sabrina. So, before we do anything, uh, let me get out a map right here because, again, I'm always, uh, yeah, I'm always tripping on where, where the hell I'm supposed to find Sabrina. Especially in this one right here where... It's just a little hard to find. Good God. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Where are we? So let's go to the maps right here. Actually, hold on. I think I have something saved. So the moon. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay, so that is not going to work. So let's go ahead and use... Let's see. Damn it. Come on. Saffron. Okay, Saffron City Gym Pathway. Okay. And images is going to be right here. Oh, they, these are the old school ones, so let's see. I gotta find the new school. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, here we go. Uh, okay, so it's not letting me. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so found it. Alright, let's do this. Bring on Sabrina. The hottest one. Okay, so. Before we go in, we're going to switch up our team yet again. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. You know what? It seems like I have the right team for this. I don't need to switch much, except for maybe Dragonite. So let's go ahead and switch him out. And let's go with Tank right here, mainly because it's a physical attacker and lots of Psychic-type Pokemon. Not so good on the, on the physical side. So let's go right ahead and get back into the Saffron City Gym. And, well, let's see where we go. Alrighty. So this one's going to take us right here. And I'm looking at this path right now. Where does B take me? B. Okay, so let's go right here. B is right here. And I believe the top corner right there will actually take you to the par top portion. So let's go right up here. And this one will take us to the top corner or middle corner right here. And would you look at that? Okay, so where the hell are we now? Uh, okay, so that's two. Okay, so I'm in the middle portion right here. So let's see, where would this take us? E eliminate. Do 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 do. Trying to find my way around here. It's gonna suck. Okay, so let's see. Then I'm gonna have to take the G spot. Okay. <laughs> G spot. Oh, giggity. Okay, so that's that right there. And now we're gonna have to take the for the portion right here towards the eye. And this will lead us to the top area right here. And let's see. You have to get to P. So let's see, let's see, let's see. J. Okay, so I think I know where, where to go. So let's go to J. J will take us next door, and then from there. We have to actually take, uh, we have to, we actually have to get to P, so it doesn't really matter which one we go right here, so let's see, M, take it, yeah, this is, this is all just to confuse us, and here we are in, uh, let's see, we're in M, and all we need to do now is go straight to N right here, let's see, and then, here we go, go straight to the top portion, and this one will take you straight to Sabrina. I'm back, baby. Okay, she's looking fine as always. Fine like wine. Yeah, dandy like candy. 
I could go on. I really could. Okay, so let's see. Let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go straight for tank right here and then just go on with the rest. So, there she is. It's true that po psychic powers is a potent ability. However, there are things that cannot be overcome with that power alone. I finally understand now after losing to you in our last battle. I won't be relying on just psychic power this time. My true strength, my true self. Allow me to test them against you. Whatever you say, baby. So, here we go, guys. Gym battle number five or six, depending on who you, uh, who you are and all that stuff. And we're taking on the beautiful Sabrina. Mmm, 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 mmm. Look at that. She's coming out with her Mr. Mime. And I think I chose correctly right here, because Mr. Mime is also a fairy-type Pokemon. And, well, let's see. We're just gonna... Well, actually, we're just gonna body slam right here, because uh, I believe... What was it? Fairy-types nullify... Uh, dark type move so here we go being a little physical hopefully we paralyze this guy and it's still not paralyzed so let's go ahead and use another body slam and hopefully oh wow psychic attack right here oh crud alrighty here we go body slam doing it again okay come on let's do it finish this guy off oh crud he's gonna just keep on using psychic attack until we're done and uh, here comes another body slam. Now, this would have done, been done in two moves, three moves and stuff, but, you know, that reflect is just, uh, you know, it's just a B-I-T-C-H just to get around. And here comes another psychic attack. Okay, so there we go. Body slam does the trick. I could have used a, a uh, poison-type Pokemon. I don't know. And, god dang it, come on, grow to level 60 already. She's coming out with a Jinx. Let's go, Godzilla. We got the man for the job right here. I don't know why I kept Godzilla on this. So, let's go right here. Okay, alrighty. Jinx coming out. Looking all strong and everything. So, let's go with the uh, good old move of Flare Blitz right here. It's a sacrificial move, but still does the job. Look at that. No more Jinx. Oh, yes. Okay, so that's that right there. And, yes, we get uh, a nice recoil. So, let's see. The Reflect has worn off, so now we can actually take on Slowbro right here. And, well, let's go with Sparky. I don't know why. I, I don't even think we needed uh, the rest of the other Pokemon right here because she does use some, you know, two-type Pokemon right here. So, here comes uh, good old Slowbro. Hey, good old Slowbro, get this. Thunder attack right here. You've never been hit by a kid with a sun or with a pair of sun uh, glasses, so look at that, slow bro. Defeated. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, okay, so look at that. More experience points, and Tank finally grows to level 60. It's about dang time, and she will be coming out with Hypno right here, so let's go with Sand Slash. Mainly for that uh, good old move, X Scissors. X Scissors could do it, it can do it. Alrighty, what's up? I'm here. Let's go, Hypno. Where you at? Look at that. He's just twirling that thing right there. So, let's go with the next scissors for the win. Look at that. X scissors does the trick. And yes, he will be fainting because I'm a little too much right now. Just a little too much. And well, she's about to come out with an Alakazam. So, let's go straight for this guy right here, Mew de Uno. Now, Maybe, just maybe, Psych uh, Alakazam is a little stronger on the Psychic abilities. But I do have some good moves to actually beat Alakazam, so hopefully they will actually do it right here. So let's go right ahead and use that move. Let's go a Dark Pulse. And look at that. It takes away a lot of its HP. And maybe I should have used... Ah, oh, crud. I should have used Mega Horn. And there is that Shadow Ball. Let's go and finish this guy off. Mega Horn for the win. Look at this. Bam. Say goodbye to Alakazam. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, alrighty. So that is that. And Leader Sabrina has been defeated. And he's like, I won't encounter a trainer like you for around for another three years. Huh. She's predicting the future. I wonder who could that be. <laughs> okay. A little bit of a, a little nugget right there. There was once a time when I was shocked that I lost to you. That feeling's gone now. 
It's been replaced with the desire to grow strong and live freely as uh, you do. Okay, whatever you say, baby. It's been nice seeing you. You look pretty damn hot with the the beautiful hair, the outfit, everything. Oh yeah. Okay, so that is gym number number five for me right there. Now we got to go straight to Koga and round it all up to, uh, I believe, Cinnabar Island. So let's go ahead and use Sparky yet again. And Sparky's just like flying. Look at that. He's warming up. Okay, you're warming up, buddy. Hold on, just a sec. Not that one. My bad. <laughs> Sparky needs some attention sometimes too. So let's go straight to Fuchsia City. And uh, let's see where this will actually take us right now. So, say hello. And, well, let's see, let's see. Here we are at Fuchsia City. And, well, I don't really think we need to switch out our Pokemon much. Actually, hold on. We probably do. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead. And, uh, let's see. Well, we can take this guy out take this guy out and bring this dude in and bring this Sheila in too okay so we got ourselves a team they need some pretty big rings that's right guys and look at that it's very simple all we need to do now is just go straight forward to this guy because he's just gonna be waiting for us so we defeated him last time he's a big old ninja fan let's see what he has to say <laughs> If it isn't the child, it seems we are fated to meet again. You have come uh, at a truly appropriate, uh, opportune time. I was just thinking that I wanted to test my newly refined sinister techniques in a battle that will end in your utter defeat. Oh, damn. Man, he was just very specific. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Gym Leader Koga. And this guy right here coming out with his Tantacruel. Okay, so he's changing it up. All right. Okay, I like what you. I, I like what I'm seeing right here. Maybe he will be a challenge. I don't know. Let's find out. Psychic attack. All righty. Psychic attack. Can he do it? Will he do it? And good God, Tentacruel survived that one. And here comes that Hydro Pump. Bam. Okay. All righty. So that hits us. And so let's go right ahead and use another Psychic attack right here. Here we go, Psychic. For the win, say goodbye to Tentacruel. Okay, alrighty, okay. So he, he's been training. He's been training his Pokemon. That's good. Okay, so let's see. Who's next? He is coming out with a Venomoth. I have a good Pokemon for him. Let's go with a Sand Slash. Again, I am wondering if I can use a Lowland Sand Slash against the regular Sand Slash. Because if, if I can't, then I am probably going to have to change up... Uh, the, the one of my Pokemon that I have to use for the Master Trainer. So let's go right ahead and use. Uh, oh crap! Freaking wanted to use Rock Slide. Uh, okay, so we're gonna get hit right here. Bug Buzz doesn't do anything, and Dig doesn't really do much. And huh? What do you know? It actually hit him. Okay, never mind. And there's a Bug Buzz. Not not so effective right there since we're both Ice and Steel. So. Finish this guy off, Ice Beam or Ice Punch. Look at that. Venomoth defeated. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. And well, he's gonna be coming out with the Weezing, so I got a nice Pokemon for him. Let's go with Ultra Psycho. It has been a while. Now, let's see. Again, I'm still I'm still running it through my head which Pokemon I should be using for this Master Battles. Am I afraid? Not really. I'm just, uh, I'm just curious. I'm really, really curious because, believe it or not, that won't, like, the Master Trainers will not be the last of the battles that we're going to have to partake. We still got three or two more challenges and maybe just maybe go up against the Elite Four, probably. I don't even know. So there we go. He's coming out with the Golbat. Okay. Time for Sparky to, sh uh, to shine right here. Let's go. Let's get this. Let's get this Sparky, and well, let's go right ahead and take care of business right now with Thunder Attack. Now, I did battle one of the Master Trainers in my original run, and that was with Aaliyah, and trust me guys, these Master Trainers are no joke. 
I was looking up onto, let's see, who, who, who was I watching? Which one of uh, these Poketubers I was watching? He had a, an extensive, like, somewhat of an encyclopedia of how to defeat these Master Trainers, strategies and all that stuff. And I was actually very impressed with it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we're going to switch into Nidoking right here. I was actually looking it up right here on the Let's Go Pikachu. And let's see, I'm just still trying to look for it. Alright, I'm multitasking right here. And and I'm getting a friggin' message right here. So let's go right ahead and use Earthquake Attack. And look at that, okay. Uh, okay, so if you guys have heard of this guy, his name is Austin John Plays. Shout out to him. I was actually watching a few of his videos in regards to the Master Trainers. He had a whole bunch of strategies and all that stuff, and trust me guys, a lot of the methods he used, I'm not going to use because I don't have the time for it. I kind of want to finish this off. The best way to defeat these Master Trainers is through uh, candy, through candy uh, raising and all that stuff. If you guys don't know, most Pokemon right here have specific candies that will power up all their stats. Eventually, you know, if you max them out, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what does he say? With trainers like you and Trace, the Pokemon League must play, must uh, the Pokemon League must be a place of a formidable strength. Truly, it is something to be proud of. As it so happens, I have been thinking of aiming to join the Pokemon League myself. Well, there you go. He's probably going to join the Pokemon League soon. So yeah, like I was saying, guys, Austin John Plays did all these strategies and all that crud, and, you know, very, very impressed. So, some of the methods I will not use, because, you know, candy raising is a lot of work. A lot of work. You have to capture a buttload of Pokemon, a buttload of the same Pokemon who actually max out these stats and again I don't have the time for all that stuff so what I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and do I'm just gonna level up my Pokemon that I have beat six of those trainers and then after that level up some more because uh, yeah we got a trainer we got one trainer that we is in our way and all that crud so here we are in Cinnabar Island and if you guys remember we defeated Blaine right here so let's go right ahead and switch out the party right here now let's see Wow, we've got ninety-one thousand dollars, and again, you can battle these ma uh, these trainers every single day, guys. Uh, that that way, it can replenish your finances. That way, you can actually, you know, keep on buying some Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, and all that crud. Uh, that way, you can, um, you know, capture some more, and then from there, just level up. Because again, this game right here, the best way to level up your Pokemon, you got to capture, uh, you got to capture a buttload of Pokemon right here. So. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really not going to do much. So let's go with the Leo right here. Okay. Alrighty. So let's see. Alright. So let's go right ahead and actually switch out. I actually was texting back, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. So uh, let's go with Smasher first. And hopefully we don't have to take, like, another quiz or anything. Alrighty, so here we are in the Cinnabar Island Gym. And as you probably already noticed, it's like a game show right here. And, uh, yeah, the mascot is Blaine because, well, I guess he's got some, like, kind of a uh, fantasy with these kinds of stuff. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Ha! Well done, returning to here to my gym. You're the one who retrieved the key to this uh, gym from the Pokemon Mansion. Did you see anything interesting while you were in there? That place still holds the remnants of my old friend's research. By the way, I've been hearing an interesting rumor floating around recently. You wouldn't happen to know a young lady named Green, would you? Hmm, Green. Okay. <laughs> well, it's not as uh, I really know the whole story anyway. More importantly, since you came all this way, we should have a battle. Ha! <laughs> okay. Green. Seriously? Green? Okay, alrighty. So here we go, guys, going up against Gym Leader Blaine, and his eyes are lighting with fire right here, and he's going to be coming out with his Magmar. All right, let's go, butthead. Let's get this done. Alrighty. I know how to defeat this guy. Let's go straight for the drill run. And... Well, look at that. Look at that. Drill run does its trick. <laughs> it wasn't even fair. It was not even fair, guys. 
Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And... Well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Well, Sparky grows to level 78, which is always great. And, well, it's going to be coming out with a Ninetales. So let's go straight for our good old buddy Hail Hydra right here. Now, a lot of the training, or the, probably a lot of the candy training I will be doing is through speed because the faster the Pokemon you have, the ability, like the more advantage you got. So that's probably one of my strategies right there. So let's go with the Waterfall. And look at that. Ninetales, no more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ninetales shouldn't have come in and played with the big boys. And he's coming out with Arcanine. So let's see. Let's go with Thrasher right here. Good old buddy Thrasher. Okay, so switch him out. And Thrasher's making another uh, battle right here. I think I battled him. Uh, I don't know. I think I battled him. Uh, I don't know. I'm trying to say something right here. I think I used them before here. So let's go right ahead and use this Earthquake attack. And, well, look at that. Earthquake does the trick. Say goodbye to freaking Arcanine right here. Okay, look at that. And Hydra grows to level 62. And so does Le or Leonardo grows to level 72. And, of course, our little Elia grows to level 35. And... He will be coming out with a rapid dash, so let's go right ahead and just wreck him. Wreck him with a capital W and a K. Okay, so let's see. What's up, rapid dash? Where you at? Look at that, rapid dash, flaming, pretty awesome. And guess what? I got myself a mega evolutionary stone, so let's go ahead and use it. Yeah, and oh yes, Digivolution activated. Oh, yes. Three cannons, Blastoise. Ready to kick some ass. And look at this. Hydro Pump. It's just super juiced and powerful and all that crud. Look at that. Okay. And uh, there goes that unicorn that we kind of like. Kind of miss and all that stuff. And here he comes out with a Flareon. So we're just going to stay put and just uh, use this power with great responsibility and all that stuff. So let's go. Hydro Pump yet again. Look at this. Water Kamehameha. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Flareon. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And Smasher grows to level 72. And we have defeated Blaine. <laughs> I'm all fired up. And we get a buttload of money. Remember, guys. Battle these guys every single time. You get more money. Recently, gym challengers sure have been increasing. That just means more fun for me, so I don't mind at all. It's true that you already have the Volcano Badge, but don't worry about that. Let's battle. Okay. Alrighty. So that is that. We got one more Gym Challenge, and, uh, well, if you guys may have remembered, we... When we left the Viridian City Gym, Giovanni had left and, uh, well, has, uh, went on his own quest to become a trainer yet again. And I know Pikachu's wanting attention here. Let's see, what is it? Still can't wait. He wants to move around. All right, so we're going to do this right here. Let's go straight to Viridian City. Now, like I was saying, guys, Giovanni had left. And right when we were about to step out, Blue came into the, in, into the mix and he took over. So now we're really going to have to, like, pick the right team to actually defeat uh, Blue. Because if I remember correctly, Blue does have a... Uh, a, ni a nice mixture of Pokemon. He just doesn't stick with Ground-type Pokemon at all. So, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And, well, let's see. I think I'm going to do... I'm going to switch out a few Pokemon. Just in case. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. I might... Let's see. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just use, Let's just go with the original team. And let's see, remove, actually keep that, remove, and Aaliyah, remove. Okay, so, and we got to put this back, and let's see, add to the party, and add to the party, okay, and add to the party, okay, oh wait, hold on, add to the party. Okay, so we got the original team back together for another hoorah right here. And, well, let's see. What do we got to do now? Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh, let's just go for a surprise. Let's just battle him. Let's start off with Pikachu. 
Okay, so here we are, Viridian City. And, well, it has been good. It's been awesome. Again, you can battle these guys anytime. But this has actually saved me... Uh, well, this has actually helped me with the with the money that I will be getting for Ultra Balls. Because after this, guys, I will be training my Pokemon just a little bit more so I can get ready for these Master Trainers right here. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, it has returned. Okay, never mind. Okay, so here we are, guys. The Viridian City Gym. And does he have to say a new... Oh, a new Viridian City Gym Leader has arrived, which is true. And, uh, yes, he's going to put me through this hell. The same hell that we've been through right here, so... Right here, and right here, and crud baskets, okay. So we're going to have to go all the way around right here, battle every single one of these guys. No, we already defeated them, and look at that, Blue's just waiting for us all smugly and everything. I don't even know if that's a word, but good gravy. Okay, so we, are, we returned back to the same spot, so I guess we're going to have to go the long way. And... Let's see, let's see. Ah, here we go. Right here, okay. So here we are, guys. Just a few steps away, and there he is. Blue, the original rival trainer right here. The original champion. Alright, let's see what he has to say. Yo, Draven! Since I've become the gym leader here, the Viridian City Gym has stepped it up. It has made it has, It's made each day pretty busy, though. By the way, what do you think of the, the of this gym design? It makes me look like some kind of bad guy, right? I've been thinking of remodeling this place. Well, it doesn't matter at all that much. It doesn't matter, matter at all that much. I guess no matter the place, I'm still the best there is. All right, it's been a while since I've got it all out, so I'll show you the strength of a top trainer. Okay, guys, so here we go. The last gym leader, the newest gym leader, gym leader Blue. And, of course, he has a full team of six, and yes, he is coming out with a Tauros. Good gravy. Completely forgot he had a Tauros, or he got he got that switched out. And crud! I, okay, so that that right there, that's on me. All right, let's go. Flamethrower. Let's, uh, let's destroy this guy right here. And, well, here comes with the double, a double edge, and it's very, very strong right there. And, of course, his Pokemon are at the level 60, so I probably did a good job of not switching out my Pokemon right here. So, let's go. Outrage takes everything. Alrighty. Say goodbye to Tauros. Bye-bye, Tauros. And, yes, we got more experience points. So, now he's about to come out with the Gyarados. Let's go ahead and use our good old buddy Sparky right here. Let's just destroy him. Embarrass Blue. Show him who the real trainer around here is. That... You know, red is not the, not the trainer he should fear. It should be me. Mu ah, Destructo Disc Man. So let's go right ahead and go ahead and use. Oh, I was about to use Double Kick right here. So Thunder Attack. Oh yes, Thunder for the win. Say goodbye to Gyarados. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty, and well. It's going to be coming out with an Aerodactyl, so I got the good Pokemon for him. Let's see. Let's go with uh, Leonardo the Carpio right here. It's a good Pokemon. It's a great Pokemon. And Leonardo is looking like a champ right here. He's like, bring him on. This is the second Aerodactyl that I'm probably going to battle right here. So let's go right ahead and use uh, that Hydro Pump. And, well, it's going to be faster than us, so here it goes with a, slide, a Rock Slide. And, of course, we flinch. Yeah, okay, we flinch. And he's going to be using another rock slide. So, yeah, way to go, Gary. I mean, blue. Here we go. Hydro pump. Soaks him up. Look at that. One hit KO. Oh, yes. Yeah, Gary is not. He's not having it right now. So, here he's going to come out with an executor. I think I got the Pokemon for this guy. Let's go Sand Slash. I was going to go to Dragonite, but then I was like, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got Sand Slash. Not necessarily a Ground-type Pokemon anymore, and... Well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and use this right here. Let's go Ice Punch. Yeah, buddy, here we go. Ice Punch nearly takes out Executor. And... 
and well, here comes a Psychic Attack. Not so effective since it is a Steel-type Pokemon right there. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off. X Scissors for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Strange new Pokemon. It's actually a very strong new Pokemon right there. And well, here he's going to come out with an Alakazam. So let's go ahead and switch out. Let's go with Mew de Uno. Since he's got himself a Psychic type, let's go right ahead and use our Psychic attack. But, you know, this guy is a little bit more stronger, a little bit powerful, a little rarer, and all that crud. So let's go ahead and bring him on. Look at that, power of the Psychics right here. And, well, I'm going to not make that mistake twice. Let's go Mega Horn. Yeah, buddy. Mega Horn does its trick. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay, okay. And, well, Mew de Uno grows love or gets some more experience points. And I don't remember what Pokemon he came out. Oh, Charizard. Okay, I got the Pokemon for this. Let's go, Smasher. Okay. Now, I don't know why this guy has to have, uh, has to have, uh, well, what's his name? Charizard right here. What changed? I'm trying to figure that out. What changed in all of this right here for red to or for blue to have uh, sand slash right here or no uh, Charizard? So we're just gonna find him the good old fast. Oh, the good old way. And yes, he's gonna mega evolve this Pokemon. Good gravy! And he's got himself Charizard Y. So he missed out on that uh, Flare Blitz. So let's go right ahead, poison him. No, not poison him. Okay. Now, it is a fly, a true flying type Pokemon, so we're just gonna just poison this guy. Nothing else. And look at that, okay. Poison now. Alrighty. That Charizard's looking freaking awesome. But it's poisoned! So let's go right ahead and uh, do that. There we go. Say goodbye to Charizard. Look at that, look at that. We done it. We've done it, guys. We've defeated everybody. Oh, man, what was I doing? You were doing nothing, and we get more money off of this guy than anything. As long as I can battle strong opponents, I don't care what happens. You get what I mean, right? You'd better come back again. You got it, buddy. You got it. Okay, so that was all eight gym leaders, guys. And, well, now that I, get, now that I build up a little bit more uh, money onto... Uh, onto this game right here. I will be buying a little bit more Ultra Balls and going back to the Cerulean Cave to actually capture some more strong Pokemon. That is actually the best place to actually level up your Pokemon, especially since more chances come out there than uh, than usual. So that's going to be a plus. Now, let's see. What else was I going to try and do right here? Now, I will be using si I will be battling all six uh, Master Trainers in one episode just so I can get ready for the next few battles and all that crud too. Uh, let's see. For me, it's looking like I'm going to be using Sparky, obviously, because the Pikachu trainer is up uh, close right here in Viridian City. I may be using uh, Mew and Sandslash. And then from here on the other team, I'm going to be using Godzilla, Ultra Psycho, and then maybe just maybe Hydra. Haven't necessarily, you know, thought of it yet. Like, I haven't decided, fully decided and all that stuff. But that right there is uh, that right there is looking like the plan right now. It's just, uh, we're just going to have to wait and see now. If just, if the if the case would were to be that, you know, we can't use a lowland sand slash against a regular sand slash, well, then we're probably going to have to switch it up probably to smash right here. So, again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we're almost done with this game. And, well, let's see, almost done with this game. Trust me, guys, it's going to get fun at the very, very end right here. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.